hello beautiful people good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are my name is Winifred and you are welcome to another tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this gorgeous fascinator you can see on this pretty queen's head it is very easy to make and it is beginners friendly if this is what you would love to learn keep on watching like my video share with your family and friends all right guys without too much talking let's get to the honey of this video let's go i love you hey beauty welcome to my channel you'll be needing a few things for this tutorial number one thing that you need is a pop cap this is called a pop cap and it comes in various colors in case you don't want to wrap it you can get any color of your choice so i have it in navy blue and gold but i'm going for the navy blue because the actual okay matches with that navy blue pop cap so you need a piece of actual okay fabric for the bow you will need an alice band so i've got a small size there's a big size also you need a, a crinoline the wide one then i bought this embellishment for like 1000 euro for 12 pieces it's called cloth stone, all right. So I'm going to be using it to also embellish the fascinator, and then I'm also using this cord lace to wrap my pop cap because that was the variation of what the clients wanted. You also be needing hot glue, all right. That is what will be helping you to glue everything together. Although you are going to sew, but hot glue will also work for you. I've plugged it in and it is steaming hot already. So the first thing we are going to do is to wrap our pop cap. So there is not too much, you know, there is not too much to do. You just wrap it. Anyhow, you can wrap it. Make sure you just wrap it neatly and it is done so just watch what i'm doing and you see the way i ended up wrapping this pop cap i'm just going to place it in the middle like that make sure that there is a substantial amount of fabric on the sides that is going to go all around the pop cap and then you're just going to use your glue gun to you know stick it down to wrap your Pop cap. I'm going to use the glue gun to stick it down like that. Glory on the power to the one who reigns forever. You keep doing that and make sure that what you are doing is neat. All right. You don't want to just be doing it anyhow. Make sure that you are aligning it and arranging it and making sure that. It is neatly done all right even though it's not going to be showing it has to be neatly done you don't want it to be bulky anyone that is too much you cut it out and then use your hot glue again to stick it down so once that is done I'm just going to continue round and round and once you are done, you are also going to be needing a lining to cover this up. I know you might be wondering that ah, after we have, you know, stick it down, is that how we are going to leave it? No way. This is not how we are going to be leaving it. So you are going to take your lining and then you place it inside. You have to, you know, put your lining inside and make sure that it's really entering inside the book. I don't mind if it's going to, you know, be surplus a little under it because you don't want it to you know to just be um funny on the person's head it has to you know sit too well and the lining has to go inside so put the lining inside very well then you pin it down after pinning it down turn it to the right side like you can see me do and just cut it around using the wrapped pop cap as a guide so after cutting it round like this the next thing you are going to do is to just fold it in like this and then take it to your sewing machine and sew the edges so you are going to be you know folding it inside like that and you keep sewing it see the way i'm doing it you fold it inside and you sew 
you fold it inside you know by trying to knitting the edges of the cap and then we don't want the rough edge of the lining to be showing also so i'm just going to fold it inside and then you sew it all the way around If you are new to my channel, you are welcome to the channel of beautiful people. My name is Winifred and what I do on this channel is that I do everything DIY. I teach people on how to sew, how to make headpieces and gorgeous, gorgeous things on this channel. I also encourage people that are feeling down or depressed on this channel. So you're welcome this is the channel for you and i'm so glad that you are here you found me don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any video i'll be posting in the future thank you so we are just sewing it and we've gone back to our work table so now the first thing you are going to do is to remove the pins you see that place is kind of loose but don't worry that is how it's meant to be because it's supposed to sit properly on the person's head so the next thing is to take your alice band and attach your glue your hot glue on one part of the you know one side of the alice band and just place it on in the middle of your cap like that you can also make your alice band to be straight if you want anyhow you want it to be just do but i prefer it to be on the side like this because it gives it some kind of you know beauty when the person is wearing it down when it is straight so after that is done you cannot trust your glue to do the work perfectly so that it doesn't just fall off the person's head when the person is wearing it that is where we are stitching it down so you just wrap it around and stitch it down with your needle and thread like this. Stitch it down multiple times. Make sure that it is very, very tight. You don't want it to, you know, just fall off the person's head and you don't want it to loosen up after some time. You want it to have, you know, to be able to pass the test of time. So stitch it down very well multiple times make sure that you are pulling it and make sure that you are tacking it as you are stitching it down so that is what you can see me do right there i didn't even count i was just you know it has to be firm yeah it has to be firm so once that is done you're just going to tack your thread and knitting everything up Whatever you are doing, you know I always encourage neatness. neatness. I always, always encourage neatness when you are doing your sewing. That is how you can make a lot of money from sewing. If you just sew anyhow, you can't make money. Let me not lie. So we are done stitching it. And this is how it looks. Looking very beautiful. So it's time to make our bow. So this Ashoke fabric is about... 12 inches long and 7 inches wide you can make the length longer but i should kill with will always be a shock with so I, I thought i folded it into two legs you can see me do and then i'm going to stitch it on one side like that I'm going to stitch it on one side and stitch the down part also see so i've done that and i've overlooked the rough edge the other side is an actual game english mat <laughs> if you know what that is but it does not need weaving because it's not going to pull out so now i'm done doing that so the next thing i'm going to do is to insert my crinoline inside the work of this crinoline is to give it a bouncy effect so your your bow will not just be flat you know by the time you finish doing your bow it's going to be give it a bouncy effect all right and you need this wide um i should um <laughs> sorry this wide crinoline that is what you need so i just inserted my crinoline inside the little ashoke casing that i did and then i'm just going to stitch it like that so you can see me do so now it's time to form our bow so it ended up with 5.5 .5 inches width and 6 inches length so now i'm trying to eyeball how i want it to sit on my cap you should do that when you are doing yours also to guide you on 
with how to place your bow so now i'm going to fold my bow see the way i'm folding it you know i just folded it like a kiss pleat like that and then i'm going to use my needle and thread to sew it around the midpoint if you don't know where the midpoint is if you cannot eyeball the midpoint you can as well fold it into two mark out the midpoint then fold the key split form on that midpoint midpoint area before you go ahead to stitch it but if you can up eyeball it you can as well do it like that so once you are done stitching the bow this is what it looks like see the way it is it's not laying flat you know it's a bit bouncy and that is the work of the queen line so now i wanted to use hot glue to stick it down on the four sides before but i realized that hot glue cannot be trusted the <laughs> the bow can fall out anytime and you don't want that anything you are making for a client you want it to stand the test of time so what I did was to tack it down with my needle and thread. So I tacked the four cardinal points. Let me talk mathematically. I <laughs> I tacked the four cardinal points of this bow right here. So you don't have to rush. Take your time when you are doing any project. You have to take your time. There is no rushing in making any piece, in making any dress because you are going to end up sewing rubbish if you don't learn to be patient so i patiently you know stitched it all the way around and i was done with the first two so now i'm going to do the other two now jesus yeah. you have done it again jesus yeah in your special way what man mm -mm, mm -mm. you made possible jesus yeah. don't mind me i forgot my lines so we are done and it is you know it is already becoming beautiful so the next step is to be dazzled you know you have to be dazzled this piece you have to decorate it so we are using these cloth stones and it's better for you to pack cloth stones down but i was so tired making this so i just had to use my hot glue to place my cloth stones on the fabric so and i saw that it didn't come off i tried to pull it out after i was done and it didn't come off easily so i felt rest assured so i was just placing the cloth stones on the point where i tacked because i don't want the thread to be showing all right and the midpoint where the thread is showing i attached clusters everywhere before i did went i had to put it in the middle of each side of the um bow mm -hmm. just as you can see so that it can be more beautiful so i don't want it to be too much on the bow so i just left it like that and this other part this inside part i just cut out a small piece and then i placed it on it i used my hot glue to you know place it on it just to cover the point where we stitched i folded it on one side folded it used my hot glue to place it did it the same thing on the other side and our cap was ready so this was the final look thank you guys for watching till i see you in the next one i love you and i care bye